Our guest today is Tom Ball, Senior Vice President of Alliance Advisors. He's based up near New York City. He's been in the proxy solicitation business forever. I've known him a long time. He's a great guy. I'm Brock Romanek, today on Zippy Point. So what's the difference between book entry and certificated form of ownership? Well, first of all, we're talking about shareholders who own their stock directly with the company as opposed to owning it through a bank or a broker. Um, so these shareholders are, I refer to them as record holders or registered shareholders, uh, and they can hold their shares in one of two ways with the company, either directly um, as in certificated or through book entry. Um, and I think you need to think of this in, in terms of money. Um, you can either have your money in actual bills like this, um, or you can have your money in a bank and you get a bank statement that shows you what you have. So if you're a cer certificated holder, you have physical stock certificates like you have physical money. Uh, if you're book entry, you hold the shares with the company and they send you a statement reflecting your ownership. And these days, almost everything is in book entry. I mean, those Absolutely. old stock certificates, the railroad companies from 100 years ago now go for a pretty penny and they're gorgeous. They're, in, they're these engraved pieces of art, really. Um, but I haven't seen a stock certificate be issued personally to me. And actually, I almost think my whole, my whole life, I don't know if I've ever had a stock certificate. Well, actually, actually, we did some work with the Green Bay Packers when they went public and everybody bought one share so they could put it on the wall. Yeah, get that. Funny. Otherwise, it's all book entry. Yeah.